And now there's a potential worker strike at the border. NBC5's Brandon Menard found out what it could mean if you plan to go north next month. The unions representing the Canada Border Services Agency have voted to go on strike. There's no immediate clear resolution to the outstanding equity issues and work condition issues. It comes as the Border Service Agency looks for a new contract with the Canadian government. It's uniformed officials, headquarters staff, about 9,000 folks in total have been without a contract for over three years. They've been in negotiations for a long stretch. The talks broke off between the two sides in December. The Canadian border is set to open August 9th to vaccinated Americans. If this public sector strike happens, it could create some issues. There's no owner of the border. It's not a, a revenue generating business. The only people who will suffer are Canadians or Americans trying to cross the border, businesses that want to get stuff across. A spokesperson with the Canada Border Services Agency issued a statement on the strike saying, in part, 90% of border services officers have been identified as essential, meaning that they will continue to offer essential services if there is a strike. We expect that our officers will continue to fulfill their duties with the highest level of integrity and professionalism. But some believe a strike will create longer wait times at the border. You should be prepared if a strike does occur and even if they are deemed essential. Uh, I would be shocked if, if the time through by which you need to do everything um, uh, isn't extended. If the situation is not resolved soon, it's expected the strike will happen before August 9th. In Plattsburgh, Brandon Menard, NBC5 News.